kind of educated themselves a little bit on the fact that they've decided that they want to go off their birth control, um, conscious or oral contraceptive. And some of them, you know, uh, asked their doctor about it. Their doctor wasn't really for it and discouraged it in some cases. But a lot of questions that came in were, um, what happens when you do choose to go off your birth control? Is there like, you know, an explosion that happens in your body where you are just, kind of withdrawing from the synthetic hormones you've been taking for sometimes 10 to 20 years. And what can you expect symptomatically um, and in that process? And how long does it last for? Is it, you know, after a month, would you expect things to go back to normal? Or is it more like a six to 12 month process? Um, can you tap into that a little bit? Sure. And Again, this is like one of these questions where it really depends. I mean, there's definitely some women, they go off their birth control and it was like nothing, like nothing. nothing. Or, and also, for example, sometimes it's a woman had been on birth control and it was like not really working for her. Like, you know, whether it was the side effects, whether she was having like, because even with birth control, even though, yes, it can regulate your period, I have had some women, they just were not on the right form and they were having um, break through bleeding, which of course can be really annoying. So yes, yeah, so there's some women, they just go off and there's no problem. The, the big factor really is, was the woman just put it on it just because she wanted to prevent pregnancy or was she put it on it for a reason? So mm. why that's a big question is if she was put on it for a reason, when she gets off it, that reason is still there. So if the reason was irregular periods or if the reason was acne or if the reason was heavy cramping. Um, one will suspect that it most likely will in the next, that month or the next month, um, will those symptoms will return. Another, no exactly. Um, on the other side too, if a woman had been put on birth control to, to quote unquote get a period, very similarly, most likely if she goes off the pill, she will not have her period. Um, uh, her period might come back at a certain time, but most likely it, it's not going to start cycling again. Most likely. I mean, things can always happen differently. Uh, mm -hmm. For some women who were put on the pill, again, maybe just for what I call recreational purposes, their cycle could get a little bit messed. Um, I've definitely seen some patients where it took them, they came to see me because they had been off the pill for about a year and they still hadn't gotten their period. Uh, and the big thing is, well, one of the, um, I, I feel like that there could be a misconception that, well, one, the, the, the synthetic hormones, they do have a half-life. So basically, after a few days, most of the, hor pretty much all of the, the artificial hormones are um, out of your body. So that's, that's one thing. It's not that you, you're going to continuously have these foreign hormones floating through your body. But it's really the big thing is, not so much the progesterone and the estrogen that have been impacted, but there, you have two other hormones that maybe some of the viewers might not be that familiar with, and that is LH, which is luteinizing hormone, and FSH, um, a follicle, follicle stimulating hormone. Wow. Uh, and so those definitely can be impacted for long use when you've had long usage of birth control, because basically those are what you're called your signaling hormones that are serving, they're sort of kind of basically almost like running the, the show from like the, the back, um, kind of <laughs> orchestrating the show of estrogen progesterone, but they've been out of a job for like, whatever, five years, 10 years. And so sometimes, mm -hmm. so that's typically what's kind of going on when, when, when the period is not starting up again. So it's like first, like Wait. one, were there issues before that just weren't addressed? That could definitely, again, why somebody might not have a great time coming off their birth control. And then another thing, aging. Um, if a woman had started her, the pill maybe in her 20s, maybe late 20s, and she's continuing into her mid to late 40s, you know, we're talking about a lot of hormonal changes that were going on. And so right. it is potential that that woman might be in the early stages of menopause and ha start having some of those symptoms. So there's a lot of different kind of factors. Uh, for a regular healthy woman, most likely either she won't have any issues or it might take a few months to just for her body to adjust. 
Uh, I would say definitely if, like you, you were on birth control pills, you went off, and you know it's three months, you still haven't gotten your period, or things are really off. I definitely think it's worth it to one see either well definitely maybe see your gynecologist and to start looking at some of your female hormone labs. Mm. I've a few people have said in their regulation process after going off they have noticed that their menstrual cycle ranges anywhere from like 30 to 45 days and it just it varies um and so some months it comes 30 days and the next month it comes 45 days later and that i think is concerning them right so would you recommend that they go get some of their hormones tested like the lh and the fsh yeah they should definitely get lh lh fsh progesterone, estradiol, uh, DHEA, and testosterone. And, and definitely also, like, you know, if you're coming to see my, let's look at your thyroid tested, let's look at cortisol. Um, most likely, with a woman who has a longer cycle, and also, if they have a longer cycle in a very short period, meaning, like, maybe, yeah, the 30, 45 days, and they're only bleeding one or two, two days, one of the things I'm thinking is either too much progesterone or not enough estrogen that would be the first my first thought i'd also ask about like some other symptoms but i always like to have that backed up with um looking at the actual labs i think that's always really really important rather than just um i mean i can get a lot from what someone tells me and, and their symptoms but it's always a good idea to look at the labs the lab. yes so interesting so interesting that is um probably the best explanation I have heard in breaking that down. Oh, you know, great. Really, you know, yeah. yeah. Really, I'm really well, like, under, really clearly described. 